The men are being held in Khartoum. They were with British and Norwegian United Nations workers. The group was part of a UN task team responsible for the lifting of landmines. Mechem is a demining company operating under UN immunity. Government says it has submitted a petition for consular access. There are some consultations uh, that uh, need to be done. As soon as there's a decision, uh, we will be alerted and hopefully uh, granted consular access to the South African so that we can render consular services and support to him. <laughs> Meanwhile, the ANC and President Omar Hassan al-Bashir's <laughs> National Congress Party met today. They penned an agreement to cooperate on issues of domestic politics, social and economic affairs. Neither party should comment on the arrests, but emphasize the importance of the pact. Talking to each other gave us insight to the developments and the realities of that area. We don't pretend to knowing everything. We get the information from them and talk to them, try to persuade them that a peaceful coexistence is the best option. We declared our commitment to peace and security in the area, and uh, with that uh, we came into full agreement with our South African partners in ANC that we will all work together for peace between South and North, but also for the peace and security of the whole of Africa. Last year, South Africa endorsed initiatives to freeze the International Criminal Court arrest warrant for al-Bashir. Lehana Tsotezi, SABC News, Johannesburg.